what is up guys Kelly Kevin and today on this tutorial we are going to be doing a fire truck oh damn a fire truck yes I'm going to give you the rundown of the colors or the blocks that you're going to be needing for this build you are going to be needing a black wall you're going to be needing some buttons some red wall or you could choose something sort of similar to a red color a glass ladder furnaces we're using quartz slab or an iron slab it's entirely too using a redstone torch maybe on this build not entirely too sure and a sign and various other blocks once we get into the detailing as well but i get to those as we go along so these are the primary ones to begin with so we're going to place a black block anywhere to in a section just to make it a wheel i'm going to put a button on it just to identify that it is a button so i'm going to be doing after this getting a red block in front of it like so stand corrected a quart block on either side sorry like so and on the first of these front quarter blocks, you're going to put a red like so. After you've done that, you want to make two red coming along. One, two, like so. Just to make the stretch an official sort of front bit here. And obviously you want to carry the side skirt along underneath with your quartz slabs like so. Again, you want to mimic the exact same side. So again, that block with a button on it with your slab coming across like so. So you should have something like that, pretty much the front of this. Now you can go how uh, big that you want on this, and it's entirely up to you. For me, I'm gonna go for this side, stick to this side, because all other builds, pretty much the similar side as well. Some size, side, size as well. So, I'm gonna switch out the redstone torch because there's another thing called a iron door. We're gonna need iron doors for this build, and we're gonna put two either side. So we're gonna put one, two, same thing on this side as well. And one, two, because obviously fire doors have those pretty massive doors on them. So we're going to put some of those on there like right? so. Again, we're going to place it with just the next list to run it along with some glass like so. So that should have something that looks similar to like this. After you've done that, it's going to be a red block on the sides of these doors like so. Obviously, you obviously the build one underneath a bit too like that. Obviously, because the eye or the sort of core is going to come along with the underskirt. You can do that originally, but uh, I just thought I'd do it like that. So you're going to need two red blocks corresponding to next to these doors, like so. Again, the exact same thing, one, two, one, two. But on these ones, you're going to put ladders just on the side. Or another particular thing that you like, maybe some iron bars, it's entirely to you. I'm going to do it like that. Then next after that, it's going to be a one red, and one red. And after that, it's going to be another red, and another red. And what you're going to be doing with the furnace is make sure they're facing outwards, like so. Once you've done that, just come along again with the red and just come along just upside to it just to connect it like so. And with the back as well, just conceal it like so. That's pretty much it. And then underneath you can just finish your side skirts, come all the way along. One, two. Obviously, we've got two at the back here remaining. So with the, you need two at the back and one wheel. So yeah, that's correct. One, two. Yep. Apologies for that. So you want to always cut, cut two from the back from the side skirt and put a black block just to make sure it is a wheel. Apologies for that. So we're getting carried the side skirt all the way along. So to look connects. And then yeah. So after that, it's entirely up to you how you want to do the roofing. Uh, for me, I'm just going to fill it up with the red on the top back here. A little bit tricky. Follow it always from the red, because obviously you put the furnace, you think you're going to put something on the furnace. Now what you can do is look up uh, carpet. Uh, try and find a red carpet, which we have. Switch it for your glass, so we don't need that anymore. We can actually just run red carpet along, like so, just to conceal the furnace, like so. But make sure you're crouching when you do this, because obviously you think that you're putting something in the actual furnace. So there you go. After that, you grab your slabs and come along with your slabs. And pretty much, just make a roof of your iron, if you can manage that, there you go, like that, lovely, now that's come all the way along, like so, just to box it off, like that, so now it's entirely up to you how you want to do this, and um, you can remove sort of these particular slabs here, and then go back to your redstone torch, like so, and put your redstone torches on your glass, just to indicate that it's a fire engine, which I think we're going to do, because that looks pretty cool. After that, as I said before, prior to this, you're going to probably... Can we put an extra? No, you can't. You're going to switch to your signs and your item frames. So we're going to go back to get our item frames, like so. And our gold blocks. And we're going to put 
set an item frame each side of this, just to the headlights. And in the middle of the headlights is going to be a number plate. You can personalise this to ever, whatever you like. Same thing on the back side as well. Headlights. Up. And uh, yeah, there we go. There is our fire truck. So guys, if you did enjoy, make sure to hit me up with a like and a comment. If you have any questions about Bunga down in the comment section below, and I will gladly get back to you. I'm pretty quick and pretty responsive. Subscribe for more daily content. Many more tutorials to come out, guys. But Kelly Kev here, and Kelly Kev out.